All right, today here we go again with another grand edition of It's Time to Box. But today we're going to take you to Hawkesbury, Ontario, Canada, where you'll get to go directly inside of Willits Boxing Club. So, with no further ado, it's time to box. In this episode, we continue to highlight the top trainers on the globe today. And see, our focus for creating this series was to show you throughout the entire year that it is uber important that you realize in boxing, learning it requires redundancy, persistence, and keeping things simple. And that's what you'll see in our trainers from the School of Boxing. So remember, when it's starting to become overwhelming, take your time, keep it simple, and get back to the basics. Let's go inside of Willis Boxing Club and see exactly what it looks like. It's work time. Stephen Willett from Willett Boxing Club, Hawkesbury, Ontario, Canada at Hypertrain Athletics. I'm representing Master Boxing at the School of Boxing. So today we're going to cover the seven points of a successful boxing stance. First and most important is my foot placement. So I want to have my feet at 12 and 2, roughly shoulder width apart, and my weight is more on the ball of my foot here. I want to make sure that my knees are slightly flexed, so I don't want to have my legs straight. My knees are bent, my elbows are tucked in to protect my ribs, and my hands are up to protect my, my cheekbones here, and my jawline, making sure that I still can see my opponent, tuck my chin low, keep my eyes looking forward, okay? Next thing that I want to make sure that I'm doing is sitting down on my punches a little bit. So I'm going to push my hips back and get a little bit lower so that I have more leverage and more power when I'm throwing those punches and also to evade punches coming towards me. So sitting down low. And then finally, I want to make sure I'm relaxed and my head is always moving off that center line. So I don't want to be robotic and tighten upright. I want to be nice and relaxed, sitting down, moving my head constantly off the line. Hey guys, so today we're going to introduce you guys to the box step. So what I'm going to do is basically taking one step in each direction from my boxing stance. It's very important you keep your hands up, your chin down, your balance, okay? So from my boxing stance, I'm going to start by going forward, right, back, left. Or I can go forward, left, back, right, or back, left, forward, right, or back, right, forward, left. Works in any direction. Ideally, you want to get really, really good at doing it in any direction. That way you become an expert at navigating that ring. So we're going to start off nice and easy. As I'm stepping forward, I'm pushing off my back leg. Step. And I'm going to move this way. I'm going to push off my left leg. Moving backwards, I'm pushing off my front leg. And then moving over back to my left, I'm going to push off my right leg. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Forward. I could also do it in any direction. I can move to my left. So I can go forward, left, back, right. Or I can go back, right, forward, left. Or I can go back, left, forward, right. It's very important that every step that I take, I feel confident and comfortable. And that when I land, I'm ready to fight. I don't want to be off balance or all wobbly down here. I want to step with authority. Every step I take, is with purpose. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like from the side. Go forward, right, back, left. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like from behind. And finally, the reverse angle. That's the box step. All right, next we're going to focus on the double box step, which is exactly the same as the box step we just worked on. I'm going to throw a little hop in there, so we're going to do two steps in every direction. So I'm going to start moving forward, right, back, and then left. So it looks like this. I'm going to move forward, left, back, right. So I'm going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep my hands up, my chin down, okay? From the side, looks like this. And then from the rear. And then finally the reverse. 
we're single. That's the double box step. One of those techniques that you gotta practice until it becomes second nature and becomes easy because you're gonna use this every day in the ring when you're navigating your way around your opponent. Okay, in this next circuit, what we're gonna do is show you what it looks like to execute the pivots properly. So Steve's gonna take you through this rendition and let's see what it looks like. This is the pivot circuit. Well, it's boxing, the school of boxing. Cheers, non-alcoholic. All right, next we're gonna work on the clockwise pivot, okay? So my front foot is actually gonna stay anchored on the floor. Keep all those details in mind from your boxing stance. So I wanna make sure I'm sitting down on my punches, my chin is tucked nice and low, protecting myself between my hands, and my elbows are tucked in. Bend those knees. So clockwise pivot, see the movement, the rotation comes from my hips down here. And what I'm gonna do is try to turn 90 degrees, okay? So hands stay up, chin stays down. A lot of the time we see people get into the habit of dropping their hands as they're pivoting. I want you to keep those hands high, elbows are tucked in. And all I'm gonna do is turn and face 90 degrees towards my right, pivoting clockwise. Here we go. Okay, I'll show you that again. And pivot. And pivot. Just like you're opening a door, swinging a hinge, nice fluid movement, that front foot stays nailed to the floor. And pivot. Time, pivot, 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 pivot. That's the clockwise pivot. The counterclockwise pivot is gonna be the exact same thing, except we're gonna move the opposite direction. So this time, front foot still stays anchored. I'm gonna to turn towards my left or counterclockwise. Same idea, 90 degree turn, nice and sharp, making sure my hands are up. Because if your hands are low and you're pivoting, you're asking for trouble, right? Keep those hands up, protect your chin. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was one of our guys who really takes the time to apply things. If you really found the value in what you're seeing with us, be sure to check us out and make sure that you follow us at Master Boxing across the board. And this is the School of Boxing. Until next time, remember, stay focused, continue to follow the process, and we'll see you soon in the winner's circle on It's Time to Box. So long. And be blessed at God's speed. Peace. Mm. Great. Well, I hope that was good for you. And for those of you who are looking to really improve your programs or aspiring boxers, make sure you follow those who feed you what's necessary to be fed. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. To learn more about the School of Boxing, simply visit theschoolofboxing.com or subscribe to one of our social media networks at Master Boxing across the board. Stay focused and embrace the process. Coach Eric Bradley signing out. I'm simply your host on It's Time to Box. So long. Peace.